how high does the bullet get and how long does it take? We have made a model, we got a differential equation for the velocity, which turned out to be a separable differential equation, so we know how to solve it. This will give us the speed of the bullet as a function of time. One more integration yields its position, which means that we can compute its final height. This does require quite a bit of calculus though, as you will see in this video. So we go up. M times A equals minus gravity minus friction, some given initial velocity. I divide by M, you get minus G, some rubbish times V squared. Take out the minus G, then you get 1 plus rubbish times V squared. And it is convenient to call this rubbish over here. Uh, 1 over v equilibrium squared, so that you get uh, 1 over v equilibrium squared here, uh, where the v equilibrium contains all those constants, 2 times m times g over rho times c times a. Why like this? Why don't we call this uh, just this constant rho c a over 2 mg? You could call it k as well. Well, that's fine too. But why do we call it v equilibrium like this? Well, because this combination of parameters has a physical interpretation as an equilibrium velocity, not in the upward trajectory, but in the downward trajectory. So what does this v-equilibrium mean? Well, in the downward tra trajectory, eventually the gravity and the frictional force are going to uh, cancel out, they are going to balance. So if you're going down, they balance if gravity equals frictional force uh, at a certain velocity. And if you solve for this velocity, you get exactly this parameter 2mg over rho ca. And so that's what the equilibrium means. It's an equilibrium velocity going downward. So it's convenient to use this combination of parameters because it means something physically. And if you plug in all the numbers, by the way, you get an equilibrium velocity of 29 meters per second, which is pretty fast, 100 kilometers an hour. Uh, now, we can solve our differential equation over here because it's a separable differential equation. We separate first v's on the left and uh, t's on the right. Well, there are not that many t's. Integrate, integration on the right is easy. And on the uh, left, we have to be a bit careful, but you see, for example, use the substitution rule that you get an arctangent. Then use the uh, initial condition at t equals zero, your v. Uh, equals zero, so plug it in here. So that means that your C becomes V equilibrium times arctangent V zero over V equilibrium. Uh, uh, so you can solve for your uh, uh, arctangent of v, v over V equilibrium and for V later on as uh, minus GT of V equilibrium plus this other term and you finally solve for V V equilibrium times the tangent of, this is a constant, arctangent V0 of V equilibrium is some constant number. You have an initial velocity, you have an equilibrium velocity, so that's uh, some number, minus GT. So what do you have? Your V is a constant times tangent of constant minus T. So how, does a gra how would the graph look? So at t equals zero, you start at v zero, and then you uh, have the, 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 the tangent of number minus t, so the tangent becomes smaller, so your velocity is going down, something like that. So you start at a high velocity, you gradually your velocity is decreasing. So what will be the top height? Well, the velocity at the top height equals zero, so when do you have velocity zero? If this argument of the tangent over here equals zero, so that means that this number arctangent v0 of v equilibrium minus this number g at the top has to be zero. You can solve for t top then. t top equals v equilibrium over g times this number. And if you plug all those constants we had from the previous video, you find approximately 4.5 seconds. And now it's time to think a bit. Is it realistic while well, you're shooting a gun upward? It takes 4.5 seconds for the bullet to reach its maximal height, height. Well, I think that's kind of reasonable. If you would get a time of hours here, you know you've done something wrong. If you would get a time of milliseconds here, you know you've done something wrong. So always check those numbers, whether they 
coincides with your physical intuition. Now, a final question, what height do we reach? That's what we need for the tra trajectory going down. Well, the height, we only have to integrate from the zero to t-top our velocity he over here. Well, the answer is 228 meters, uh, but this requires quite a complicated integration. We'll do that in the second half of the video. But if you are happy right now just to know the answer, you can stop over here. Uh, and if you want to know um, how, we, how, we get, how we do this integration, just keep watching. So, how do we do the integration? Well, we have to integrate the tangent of a number minus t, basically. Now, first we use the, substitu the substitution rule to clean up a bit of the mass. We call this argument of the tangent u, and then du becomes quite easy because it's, this looks messy here, uh, over here, this arc tangent, but it's just a constant. So du is just minus g of v equilibrium times dt. Then, also substitute the boundaries at t equals zero, your u is this arctangent number, so this constant, and at the final time, that's really nice, your u becomes just zero. So what you get is, after the substitution rule, uh, you uh, get the minus g over v equilibrium and the other v equi uh, equilibrium uh, from the uh, substitution in front, so minus v equilibrium squared over g, and your integrand is just tangent of u, and you get slightly messy boundaries. So now you just have to integrate the tangent of u. You know the antiderivative of that. Uh, tangent of u equals the logarithm of the cosine of u uh, with a minus sign. Uh, you plug in the boundaries. u equals 0 gives you a cosine of uh, 0 equals 1, ln of 1 equals 0. So you only have the lower boundary left, the cosine of the arctangent of some uh, positive number. Well, you know this number here. Uh, the, the arctangent function looks like this, with the pi over 2 over here. So the arctangent of a positive number is below pi over 2, so your uh, cosine is somewhere between uh, 0, uh, the, the, the argument of your cosine is between 0 and pi over 2. So your cosine is positive. That's what we need now, because we this looks horrible, uh, but we can simplify it a bit. The cosine of the arctangent of some number is something nice. So how do we simplify? You know the tangent uh, of alpha equals sine over cosine. So if you square, you get sine squared over cosine squared. Uh, you want cosine in terms of the tangent. Uh, so you solve for the cosine. Cosine squared times tangent squared equals sine squared equals one minus cosine squared. Put the cosine squared to the other side. Cosine squared equals one plus tangent squared. So cosine squared equals 1 over 1 plus tangent squared alpha. And now you, know, use it, uh, uh, you can use that the uh, cosine is positive later on if you want to take the square root. So this cosine of this arctangent becomes uh, 1 over 1 plus tangent of the arctangent cancels out, becomes something nice. So cosine of the arctangent of the rubbish is just 1 over this square root. So this down to the power minus 1 half. So that's in order to simplify this expression inside the ln. Now we can plug this in over there. So then we are over here. Take the minus one half in front, and then we are over there. And you get an ln of 1 plus v0 squared over v equilibrium squared. Uh, so now you can compute your height by just plugging in the numbers. Your v0, approximately 400 meters per second. Your v equilibrium about 30 meters per second, and g is of course about 10. They plug it all in, in all the numbers, and you get a height of 228 meters reached after 4.5 seconds.